get ready for the Slay Fest. Bryson Weston coming at you with an MTV Pro Box Challenge. Who's gonna get the slam first? Me or him, drop the comment down below. You can... We're gonna edit that out. Yeah, we'll edit that out. We're gonna see who can't get a whole slam out of this box first. We've actually got two of them, so we're gonna tie on the lures and see uh, who's gonna nail these things. Real quick, we wanna thank Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring this video. You guys, we're gonna show you what's inside of this box. You guys can actually, with the link down below, get your first one for as low as $5, and look at all it comes with. This month's box is featuring some braided line. We don't always get braid in the boxes, so this is pretty sick. You've got some fishing line. This is 15 pound. This is going to be my recommendation is to put this on a spinning setup, this line right here, and go ahead and maybe tie you a clear fluorocarbon leader, and you can fish some of these soft plastics and what finesse style on those lighter spinning setups. So we got some braid in the box, extra dope. You got the breakdown right here. Uh, the braid is about 13 bucks. And so then the next is the Weston Swim. This is actually a topwater hollow body lure right here. This sucker's pretty dope. Floating, three and a half inches. 5 8 ounce and this sucker just walks right on top of the water fish it just like a frog and you can also I found when you cast it you can crank it in a little bit and it'll actually dive and do a little swim you can pop it give it a little jerk oh man that's ridiculous I think we're gonna catch some big ones on this thing then we got a sticker we got the dibble tips and tricks from MTB we got the neck buff you already see it locked and loaded this one right here is pretty sick y'all trash master jig this is a half ounce right here it's uh what do you call the what do you call that swindle thing spiral lock this thing's got the screw lock and all you guys were pumped to throw this with a couple of these plastics included in the box. And let me break them out, by the way. We got right here, these little tadpole looking things. This is the Game Changer Lures Eliminators. Extra sick, definitely going on the jig. I think we can snag a giant with the use of these hooks as well. If we just decide to throw them Texas rigged, uh, that come in this month's box, it's three out hooks for you guys. And we're also gonna use the, we're also gonna use those hooks with these soft plastics right here. These are the Lunker City, five inch osmos they do not mess around let me tell you how do i know i don't but i think they're gonna work and that's the box man submit sizes on mtb's page for a chance to get featured and we're gonna go ahead and get locked and loaded bryce and i are gonna tie these things on in fact i've already got a couple tied on right now but we won't bore you with all that we're gonna get to fishing you guys thanks again mr tackle box let's get rocking and rolling all right guys we're trying to catch this bass down here on a bed in the middle of june it's like <laughs> It's June 13th, and this guy's chilling. He's not really going after committing to anything yet, but I think we'll get him. We've got the jig and the Texas rig, so we'll get him. Oh, yes! God dang! Dang, he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> All right, guys, we've been out here fishing for about an hour and a half, and we just knocked out the first catch on the Ministry Tackle Box baits. Yes, get you some of this. <laughs> that takes care of two and one. Stoked. Got everything tied on. Bryce and I just kicked everything off on that side of this bigger pond, trying to go after some bigger ones over here with all this solid gear. And I just want to point out that this thing right here is legit. I don't know if it's a larger size, but it doesn't scrunch my nose up like some of the tighter ones do. I'm absolutely digging it. Let's get over here and catch some fish with it, why don't we? What up y'all, Devin and I are just rolling up to a little pond. We're actually rolling up through a neighborhood to a sidewalk that leads to a pond. And we're gonna try and complete this challenge that Bryce and I could not complete the other day. Catch everything on these uh, baits out of the MTV box. So we are going to just park real quick, bring the camera, bring the arsenal we've got with us including the box and the baits and get to work. See you there in just a second. Big old bullfrog. Yeah, so here's what we still need to catch some goodies on. Catch something on these little crawl creature deals right here using this hook. Devin's gonna work on knocking out those creature looking things, Texas rigged. And I'm gonna see if anything will hit on top water at this point. A little cloudy. Uh, pond's fairly shallow. And what is going on with this hook? Brand new out of the unboxing video, we've got that Lunker 7.6 Heavy with the Shimano Scorpion DC. This is the 100HG model, so the higher gear than just the standard with some 30 pound braid to kind of tie this all together nicely. Let's get back in here. All right, y'all, this thing's definitely loaded up with bluegill, but I think we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna try our luck at the next spot. Toss the jig around just for a second to see if they wanted something a little bit different, but uh, weren't hitting that either, so let's go. 
Okay guys, first pond we did a whole lap around didn't get nothing. We were throwing out the uh, little creature critter thing, eighth ounce weight, no peg, we're skipping that tonight. And then also the uh, top water, we're throwing that Weston hollow body swim deal. No luck, so we're headed over to the next spot. Catch you there. Okay, rolling up to spot number two. Ah, a little golf course pond up and over the hill. Given the slight breeze, the disturbance on the top of the water is a little heavy. We're going to try this plopper instead of the western swim just because conditions are showing it could be favorable. We'll see what happens here. This bait is hard to cast on here with just this 8 ounce weight, but we just brought those with us. So let's get out of here. Got him. Yes. Yes. Hanging out by that structure, you guys. I told I told Devin to cast over there. She said she saw a swirl. Check us out, guys. Just minutes into this pond. We literally just started at this bank right here. Started on that corner. We walked the bank a little bit. She's throwing the plopper. I'm throwing this thing. And uh, <laughs> and we literally have it Texas rigged with the hook that came from the box and the eighth ounce weight. Just a tiny little guy. But it's good because this thing has so many appendages. That light weight just really has it dropping down, fluttering nice and slow on the drop. And as soon as I saw this little net or whatever this structure is here, I told Devin cast along it with the plopper. She brought it in and saw a little swirl. I cast it right in there next to it. And boom, we got this guy right in the top of the mouth on that Mustad 3 aught hook, if I'm not mistaken, is what came with it. Oh gosh, and it got him good. He was not coming off. I don't know if the drag was set appropriately, but we literally just got him on our brand spanking new favorite rigged 7.2 medium heavy paired with a Scorpion MGL. Mm, I'm going to link this stuff down in the description for you guys, but uh, check this out right here. Let's get him back in the water and go for some more. I think the bite's about to kick in, and I'm sure they're going to be hitting that top water here in a second. All right. First one out of a pond we've never fished with a reel we've never used with a bait we've never tried. This is uh, looking good, y'all. Let's get after it. Come on, there's more fish to catch. And I need to crank this drag. Yeah, he was, I thought it was fairly tight. I, I kind of checked it a little while ago. The bait's head is torn up after that one fish. So what I'm gonna do is just chop the head off where the hook got whooped. And I'm going to re-rig this thing torn down a little bit further since the box is in the truck and we didn't know if we were going to get kicked out here we saw a guy on a golf cart with his kiddo right when we pulled up and so uh, we didn't know if we were going to be able to stay here for a second so we just grabbed a couple things to chunk out here turns out they're hitting so i'm probably going to run out to the truck in another minute and grab some more of the goodies but let's just try and get another cast in real quick with uh with this bait chopped down with most of the baits i use i can usually get away with the some extra catches even if it gets torn up on a texas rig which is a common thing <laughs> he hit that thing on the drop it was not even done sinking when he hit it and i didn't know if i should set the hook if he had it good enough or if he was just nibbling on it but i went for it and he was on so we got lucky here's a little swirl on the top just saw a little swirl see if i can't capitalize it was right about here another swirl right out here just slightly further in right about there ah, try the top water over here let's give something else a shot for just a second guys i think i'm gonna do it bust out the jackal ganterell jr tie it on a rod we've already caught something on well, junior this thing's pretty slick there's two areas to tie this thing on and i believe if you tie it on the bottom of the mouth that's going to help it dip lower it just makes sense to me i know i saw the review and they mentioned it but i've already forgot so i'm going to tie it onto this main o-ring here right in the front and uh, we're just going to go with the flow i'm tying it on to 17 pound fluorocarbon and this is on the metanium dc 72 lfg medium heavy but uh I think it might do the trick. Going with the Palomar knot, guys, you gotta leave a lot of excess line in your knot, that way you can clear the bait. And then we just tighten, cinch this thing down. Tighten that up a little bit. All right, here we go. We're chunking it. I should have tossed it a little closer just to see the action first. But uh, if we get a bite first cast, we'll know it's good. Everyone ran some raves about this thing. Oh my gosh, it does look insane. Oh, it does look extra killer. Oh, I just got hammered. Oh my gosh. Where's the camera? 
Where's the camera? Big swim bait. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just skiing him though. What just happened? First one ever on the big old swim bait, you guys. Holy cow. Oh, and he hit it. That was crazy. You're just barely cranking the reel, barely cranking the reel. All of a sudden, boom, jackhammer. That was sweet. I really thought this was a big fish. <laughs> All right, let's get him back in the water real quick. All right guys, so we caught fish on just about every bait out of the mystery tackle box except for the top water. And it was getting a little challenging, but I know there's some big fish in here. Really want to capitalize on that before sunset while we're out. And so I went ahead and tied on a brand new bait that we got from Shop Carl's. You guys definitely need to check out this Gantrail Junior. Literally, that was probably the first five casts I've ever casted this thing right here on the big sexy. Actually, this is the LFG 7.2 medium heavy and uh, chunks it just like a dream. And we cranked in that two pounder right there. I think there's I think there's plenty of time to get some more big ones. If you guys haven't checked out Shop Carl's, you can actually save 30% on all your baits from here on out with Carl's Club. I signed up for it. Bam. Baits like this. I think this thing was 12 bucks off. $12 off the Gantrail Junior, guys. I'm gonna cast a few more times, try and crank a real big one. Let's go. Oh. Oh, got one right away, right away. Oh my God. And we scared one up here in the surface. Oh, got him. Oh, second one on the Gantrail Junior. <laughs> second one on the Gantrail Junior. Like as soon as it hit the surface, this guy keyed in on it. I felt the weight right away. I, I thought I almost got snagged on the little piece of structure I was out there throwing it towards. So I threw it right out there towards this net looking thing. And uh, just as soon as it hit the surface, went up and bashed it. And now look at the size comparison. Like, that's not even the biggest bass you've ever seen, but this bait just absolutely just kills. <laughs> Second one in minutes, and there's a big one that keeps hanging out on this point right here. I wanna get it. As soon as I made a little noise and had that catch on the hook, I saw him swirl out, but there's a big one off this point I'm gonna try and snag here. So let's keep throwing this thing. All right, guys. Devin and I are both throwing the swim baits. I'm gonna try to go three for three on the Scantrill Junior. She has got the baby bull shad and uh, they're, they're, fe uh, they're feasting right now. So we have now got the pliers on deck. And he literally hit it right as it hit the water, just like that. As soon as I put the reel in my hand, I was cranking. So cool. I think this big one on this point is spooked, but we'll see what happens. Wow. Gotta go so slow with this thing. Oh, he hit it, he hit it. That's the big one. That's the big one. Oh my gosh. That's the big one. <laughs> That's the good one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow. We're gonna have to weigh this one, you guys. We got that big one we were talking about, y'all. I don't even know if I was filming. Yes, I was. Thank goodness. That, that was, was oh cast. God, that was my next cast. You're absolutely right. Wow. Guys, we just got one back to back. Uh, we thought we were recording, but we had a little mishap, so check this puppy out. We're thinking she's at least three, just definitely a little skinny. Could be a fat four, four and a half in most cases, but uh, the Gantrill Junior just absolutely crushing it. Devin's got the scale ready. I'm gonna go ahead and see what this thing weighs real fast. We're zeroed out. I'm gonna give it a three and a quarter, three and a half rating, right at it. So, so just under three and a half. Three pounds, eight ounces would be three and a half. She's three six. Let's get her back in the water for you guys. Ooh, uh. There we go. They're just gonna slam it. <laughs> like this is this is fun right here. Summertime fishing with the big old swim bait. Oh my gosh. If you don't get one in the first few casts, let's head over here where I haven't fished much. But I bet you'll I bet you'll get one. Devin and I just switched things up. She's throwing the uh, she's throwing the gantrail and I'm throwing the baby bull sheds. Bring it in nice and slow. I think this is the spot. Maybe you should come back over here. <laughs> it's the first catch ever on the Buka's Baby Bull Shad paired up with Catch Co. If you guys have not seen Catch Co, they're partnered up with Shop Carls and MTB all the same. This video is just cranking tonight. And it's also our first catch on the Whitebird. This is the 7-2 Whitebird. And uh, it's making things happen over here on the golf course. Yeah, I say we walk to the other side. So we're taking just the pliers and the scale over to the other side of this place. We keep seeing big ones bust on this end, and uh, we got the big swim baits, so we're ready to try and catch a couple of these suckers on this end of the pond. That probably gets hit less often. It's not next to the houses, and it's kind of more on the golf course, but I think people are kind of calming down. I don't think there's any more golfers out here, so we're going to see if we can't get a couple more catches before we end this one for you guys.
All right, guys, we're gonna film this outro while there's just the slightest bit of daylight left. We got a sweet sunset behind us. Run over here, we made it all the way around this thing, basically. Upset Devin didn't catch anything on the swim bait. That didn't make any sense, but we did knock out the slam aside from the Weston swim, which I might get up early tomorrow. You gotta get them while the time is right on the top water. And uh, it wasn't their interest this evening, so. Let me go ahead, grab our stuff. We got them while the getting was good, you guys, and we want to thank MTB once again for sponsoring today's video. You guys can actually get your first box for as low as $5 with our code in the description. Just follow that link, and you'll be on your way to throwing different baits every single month like us and having a blast doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment and give us a little thumbs up on this puppy if you dug the video, and we'll catch you all on the next one, guys. Peace out. <gasps>